Okay, once again, here we are at the Fortitude Boxing Gym, run by Steve Della, the training place of champions. Okay, what we're going to work on today, I've got my good friend Chopsticks, he's come back for another go. And what we're going to work on today is the art of leg checking and uh, checking kicks to the body and cantering. We've got a few simple techniques we're going to use that are very effective. Now, Chopsticks here happens to be a very good leg kicker. And if I'm fighting Chopsticks and he's having a great time kicking my leg, I'm in a lot of trouble. Because eventually, that, that um, thigh of mine and my hammies are going to get very sore and it's going to be very hard to walk. And when you can't walk and you can hardly balance, you can't throw your punches either. Now, the leg check is probably one of the simplest things for a fighter to learn, but there is still a right way and a wrong way to do it. The wrong way is when Tony goes to kick me, I just stick my leg up in the air. You can kick as hard, please, Tony. See, he's putting me off balance. Because what I'm doing is I'm sticking that leg up and Tony's getting that full velocity into the kick. Now, what I want to do is try and intercept that kick halfway there. So when that leg kick comes, I turn it and I'll come to the outside. Now, this is pretty simple stuff. And a lot of the internet smarties are going to say, well, anyone can do that. But anyone can't do that. And it's the simple stuff that wins you fights, not the complicated stuff. So we're going to go through this once again. The kick comes, you come straight to the outside and I'll meet that kick. Just like that. That's all we're doing. Okay, because if I kick that way, Tony just kicks me right through and Jimmy's off balance. We're in a whole lot of trouble. Okay, now this next technique, after I checked the leg kick, is one I picked up from a, from a fighter called Michael Demetrio. He's a good Melbourne fighter and a very good Muay Thai exponent. Now what he does, when this kick comes, he checks it to there. Not only does he check it, um, we'll, get, we'll go through this quickly, okay? When he checks it, he checks, keeps his balance, and uses that front kick, okay? It's not an overly powerful kick, but it's a good technique, okay? So the chopstick comes in, kicks, up, kick, like that. And it just keeps him off balance. Demetrio um, finds a way to balance himself afterwards. He's actually left-handed too. So when he's doing it, the kick would come from there, one, two, that way. You see how that works for the left-hander? And that's how this guy does it, okay? Another good technique, if Tony's arm kicking me to the rib cage, and there's those kicks coming in. Now I want to use that same technique, but what we're going to do is when that kick comes, that leg comes up high, and you point out once again, because if, I get, if I'm kicking there, he just kicks right through me. There's nowhere to go. Now when I check outwards that way, you're going to notice my knee and my elbow come together, because I don't want to give chopsticks a gap to go through. Now it's very important not to leave the gap, because if there's a gap like this when Tony kicks, I guarantee you, Chopsticks will find it. So when you go to check, you come straight up, boom, like that. When you do that, you come straight back in with that leg kick afterwards. Very good counter technique. Once again, it's very simple as well.